In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the gifts of the Holy Spirit be with you. Let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries and ask forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts so that possessed of perfect freedom, we may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens us now on earth. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter said to the Jewish people, let the whole house of Israel know for certain that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they asked Peter and the other apostles, what are we to do, my brothers? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is made to you and to your children and to all those far off, whomever the Lord our God will call. He testified with many other arguments and was exhorting them, save yourselves from this corrupt generation. Those who accepted his message were baptized and about 3,000 persons were added that day. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. See, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear him, upon those who hope for his kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Our souls, soul waits for the Lord, who is our help and our shield. May your kindness, O Lord, be upon us, who have put our hope in you. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory 
Mary Magdalene stayed outside the tomb weeping. And as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I do not know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to Jesus, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I'm going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. Mary went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord, and then reported what he had told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Throughout our lives, we receive good news. It might be as simple as a child being excited about his Easter basket, telling grandma and grandpa everything that was inside. It might be having a delicious piece of Easter cake, and we tell everyone how delicious it was, or a good health report, and we can't wait to tell our friends and family the good news. And so this is part of Jesus' message for the church as we continue to celebrate his resurrection. As he says to Mary Magdalene, do not hold on to me, rather go to the brothers and tell them I'm going to my father and your father, to my God and your God. If you've been coming to church here for a while, you may have heard or remember me saying with Jesus, there is something more. And for us as an Easter people, the something more is the resurrection. Yes, Jesus rising from the dead, coming out of the tomb, ascending to the Father. But also, his resurrection is an invitation for us to be part of his resurrection, that what we experience on earth, our human condition, our sufferings, our death, there is also something beyond that, and that is also a sharing in the resurrection of the dead. That our bodies, we believe, also be raised up in its perfect form. So as we continue to celebrate our Easter joy in Jesus' resurrection, may we pray that we may keep our vision not on those things that are earthly, that have a final end, but may we keep our minds and hearts on that which has no end, and that is to be in the glory of heaven with God forever and ever. Let us rise as we pray our needs in confidence. For the church as she continues to proclaim the risen Christ in word and deed, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For public authorities, may the gospel be their guide as they govern their people and communities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, may Jesus, the suffering servant, bring them peace and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this faith community, 
May the Lord make this time of joy in the resurrection one of growth in holy virtue. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they soon experience the fullness of God's mercy in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the deceased Joe Kloiber, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, hear our prayers, especially those who have asked of our prayers, that they may know the joy of everlasting life in your healing presence, which we ask through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name. For our <coughs> Lord God, accept in compassion the offerings of your family, that under your protective care we may never lose what we have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this Easter season, above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For Jesus is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy every land, and people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing the hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Amen. And let us offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen.
Almighty God, hear our prayers. And as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare our hearts for the reward of eternal joy with Christ our Lord. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Virgin most powerful, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. O God. sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise. Novena to St. Anthony, O glorious St. Anthony, safe refuge of the afflicted in distress, who by a miraculous revelation has directed all those who seek aid to come to thy altar with the promise that whoever visits it for nine consecutive Tuesdays and there piously invokes thee will fill the power of thy intercession I, a poor sinner, encouraged by this promise, come to thee, O powerful saint, and with a firm hope I implore thy aid, thy counsel. My request in this necessity. But if it should be opposed to the will of God and the welfare of my soul, obtain for me such other graces as shall be conducive to my salvation through Christ our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. Pray for us, O blessed Anthony. Let us pray, Almighty and eternal God, who didst glorify thy faithful confessor, Anthony, with the perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits, we may surely receive through his intercession to the infant Jesus in the arms of St. Anthony, O Jesus, my Savior, who didst vow safe to appear to St. Anthony in the form of an infant, I implore thee through the love thou didst bear to the saint when he dwelt on earth and which thou now bearest to him in heaven. Graciously hear my prayer and assist me in my necessity.
Saint Anthony, our patron and our advocate. Saint Anthony, powerful in word and work. Saint Anthony, attentive to those who invoke thee. Saint Anthony, glory of the Church in honor of the Franciscan Order. Saint Anthony, whom the infant Jesus so much loved and honored. Through the intercession of St. Anthony, whose relic I hold, may you be blessed today and always in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit.